Yo, new math puzzle roguelike just dropped. It's about like five or six dollars. Now this is a genre that's always really interested me because, I mean, CCGs and many puzzle games sometimes can simplify down to be just math. This is also personally interesting to me because I've made some math puzzle games like Countdown Battle Advance, which I'm probably never going to release. It has the same kind of idea as like game that I'm going to be playing in this video and that you're multiplying and adding and dividing etc. So the game already gives me the option to delete all the positive passive effects like I can start with an additional multiply spell or not. I don't know I'm just gonna play in hardest difficulty. All right let's go. So 13. So to deal with 13 can I add no, I, even though I am a 10 value, it doesn't seem like I can add 10 to 3 to my to self effectively. We can just like times the 2 and the 5 to get 10, add 3, and now we're fighting against the 13. Correct? Spaghetti monster, no. <laughs> the sword? Okay. <laughs> so I can just move next to shore. And now like they've regenerated, and I can pick reveal, reveal. What the? Mmm, what a. Very rude. Very rude that you're gonna surprise me with healing HP costs to reveal more cards. But anyway, so what is this? A six of five. Stealth. Minus one to the soldier up to three times. Not sure what that does. It looks like you just click it and make it happen. And shock inflicts just the spell that inflicts five damage to every enemy. Well, let's pick the card that we freaking paid blood and got scammed in order to uh, obtain. Okay, so you've attacked, which reduced the number of this. However, I mean, 3 times 5 makes it- why can I not just drag this times to- whatever. Alright, and- UI, please. Looks like if I click that, yeah, it can reduce it down to 14 if I wanted to, however. Okay. There we go. And, of course, it seems like everything is regenerated every time, so that's- that's a nice effect. Okay, zeal and moral. You're- your soldiers under 5 HP cannot be corrupted. I don't know what corrupted means. <laughs> and add one to every soldier. This looks like a really good effect, especially if it happens every battle, right? Like, let's pick up Zeal. And I get- what? I get two copies of Zeal? I can use it twice per battle or what? Ooh, 65. 65 is 50, that's um, 13 times 5, yeah? Okay, but we don't have enough- yes, we do. We, no, we, we, not, we don't have a subtract, but I guess we could use Stealth. To reduce it. Okay, this should work, right? So I times the three and the five, getting 15, and now I reduce this to 13, and I did not plan that out at all. Wait, there's an undo, right? Thank you, thank you. <laughs> I thought I could multiply infinitely. The 13 times five is enough, but we have the thing that lets us add one, so 12 times four will work as well. So to make 12 times four, um, we can just set up like these, like, Add these. Nice that it keeps the better one, you know, the stealth one. Then I add one to each soldier's value, and then times 13 and 5, and then we have enough. Cool. Alright. So we're probably going to pick another card. Pippa. Plus one to Anthem. I don't know what Anthem is. And Triad. Triple a soldier's value. Hmm. Plus one to all other soldiers. We already have a plus one effect, but I would like to know what Anthem is. We'll probably figure that out later. But Anthem, maybe just like the name of the special effect, like Stealth was. I, know, I feel like I'm lacking in multiplication, so let's just do that instead of this. Okay. Next 15 third. That looks easy, doesn't it? Oh, I mean, I'm taking a <laughs> number damage. So, okay, this is a little awkward. Why can't I not merge two and this five easily? I'm definitely times threeing this five. And then ass assigning it there. Then a times an add will make this easy as well. Okay, so now we have that we have two attackers. This is a little weird. Like, no, no, we can we can do it. So what's an end turn look like in this game? Like if you just fail to beat it in one shot or what? Clone, create a copy of a soldier or steal leech. Steal one HP for everybody. It also has a 15, which is pretty big. So doesn't this steal one HP from the freaking hero as well? That's a, that's annoying enough that I don't want to do that. Okay. So now you're just like slowly gaining more abilities. 88. Ow. <laughs> I say ow, it's not real damn. 17 is prime. That's um, 11 times 8. We can make 8. Now, do we have enough for 11 is, I guess, the question. I feel like I want to make a 17 here. 
Like, that just seems like the one that makes the most sense. You would do that more easily by tripling a 5. And I want to clone things. So... Okay, 2 plus... It just seems like it makes a lot of sense to try to copy a 17. Because that goes really high. What's 5 times 17? That, that works really well. There we go. And by the way, I'm, ex I'm assuming it's exact numbers. The game makes no sense if it's greater than, I think. Um, whoa, what the? You're just a 50 with no special ability or rod. Merge to adding... I already have an ad. Hmm. <laughs> I feel like you want the 50. Is there like a cap of the amount of... Like, you know, just walks alongside in a kind of like <laughs> overlapping cursed way? You stole something. You stole one of my uh, ad ones. Okay. Wow. It's wow. This is really funny. Like the, the, you can merge the five and the fifty. What happens if you merge two of a special ability? I assume that you get both of them. But yeah, we don't have an easy subtractor right now, so this fifty, uh, not happy with it. But forty nine is obviously. Um, you could copy the two and the five to get seven. Multiply that. Um, and then sub six. I don't know if we have enough copies of two. Let me think about this a little bit. The more I look at this, the more unsatisfying it is that I don't have a subtract. I don't want to test an interaction here. Let's say I click that. Boop, boop. Now clone. So, boop, boop, boop. You can't even boop it down to zero. Um, but yeah, it seems like the clone copies its, uh, it, like, it has, an, it has even more charges worth of the subtraction. Which is interesting, and could make this go lower if I merged it, right? I don't, it's probably not going to restore its, uh... Yeah, I don't I don't know which one it chooses. But it would be nice to get the subtraction just to reduce this down to 49 instead. This this seems like to be a really important thing to test, but I'm worried that this is not going to be, like... Like... Oh, corrupt. Ah, so it becomes an enemy now that we didn't equally destroy it. So now we would have to get rid of it again with an exact one. Okay, okay. Very important detail, I think. And it's very good you can undo that as well. And and if you do something of a lower value, what happens? And why can you attack between allies of different... So that, okay, that works like normal. And if you attack between... No, 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 whoops. That's not what I meant to do. <laughs> if you attack between allies, you get a one. Okay, okay. Very important to know. <laughs> so there is subtracting of a kind. I mean, that's a way more powerful set than I had imagined because, like, that's infinite subtracts now that you can basically do. I don't really know what to do. Now that we're, like, that powerful, it feels like I would want to have, like, a hundred and then a six. Because now that I know overkilling is a thing, it feels like I should be able to win from here in a generally good way. I can do that for a two. Why did I get an extra thing? Oh, because the thief, right. The thief stole that, so now I get it back. I am curious to know if there's like, um, like corrupting is like really bad for us or what? Because we can do that and then another add, then a fight between you will get, get us a two. So we can win this fight like this. Okay. And okay, that's very nice. Good to know, like, that, my, that our set was actually way more powerful than I thought. Here's a 25, and pop! <laughs> Test the battle advance. By the way, the game was made by the, by the same creators as SG King, because you can't say the game's name in the title. <laughs> so, now the effect is your ad spells work on enemies too. Which is just like, it's way easier to deal with, like, yeah, that looks really good, doesn't it? Like, it, it massively simplifies the multi-enemy encounters, it should. Yeah, let's pick that. Okay. Alright, we're up against a boss of some sort. So now we can add these together for 214. This is not a hard number to invent, so it should probably be really easy from here. I don't know, I'm just gonna try to get close to that number, however. 7 fight 7. Okay. And 4 try to multiply. If you don't get high enough, that's, um, that's plus 6 away, right? Alright, cool. Boom. <laughs> Okay, we get another choice. Um, stop, you're a 9. And a fireball, 25 damage to target. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> 9? You're not very primal. <laughs> you're I feel like having the 9 is better. Like, assuming that you can have as many characters as you want. Because this is like, oh, not only does it work on all the math operations, but it subtracts 9 from any target or, you know. But I'm actually very... Like, I'm really curious to see how this... 
effects, like negative things. 89, wow! But, so, well, you just die. Okay, this is not a good example, because, like, I'm, I'm hoping to do this on, like, a, like an 8 health enemy or something, and see if it overkills it at all. What's this? Spawns a flower when rod, ad, or, not rod, add or multi is used. So, hmm, spawns a flower. So it's gonna be more enemies I have to deal with. Okay. Probably want that to be a high number. That is also not a multi. So that's. Hmm. What's the, what's the flower? Five. Okay. Well, now we can test the behavior, right? And it just dies without a corruption, which is very useful. That's kind of what I expected to see out of it, so that's nice. So, how much closer can I get if I add a zeal right now? Then do that. And then do what I was going to do. 918. Why are you a 3? Why are you different? Just some RNG, like if I do a plus, it's a 3 and... What the hell? <laughs> sure. So, 918 is... No, 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 no. We don't need a corrupt 915 right now. Is 29 difference. Hmm. Huge problem is also, like, this could become a multiplication hellhole. Like, which is... It's, it is the genre of this. Wait, it can add... Sure. <laughs> Look, the tree's gone. Um, but yeah, sure. You can also add between. Interesting. I thought it would only add let you add between enemies, even though I had this. Cool. Also, this is extremely embarrassing, but I forgot I had the fireball, which is like the reason to live. <laughs> so okay, we could do that. Nine eighteen fights versus the tree, and so now three can just go against this three. Bam. <laughs> And now this can go here, bam, and fireball. Okay, that does it. <laughs> Perfect, huh? Alright, cool. But but this is not the only thing. Uh, you see, there's Epsilon Estuary. There's, okay, hmm. Are there more than just three levels? Help, I'm failing at the second world, send help. Oh, I guess there's no second world footage in this video. Chess Battle Advance. Uh, I've also programmed a really incomplete animation versus math um, in interactive kind of thing, which I've given up the motivation for programming. So that video has been delayed for about seven months, and I'm probably not releasing that one either. Programming made my CPTSD worse.